Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to this episode of Small Project Alert. So, I'm working on this really beautiful lilac Latin, and I need to create some dangles. So I'm in the stone room looking at pearls. You want to see what I found? So, Swarovski has these pearls with a hole in four different colors, I mean four different sizes. Well, we have four different sizes. And I think this is perfection to what I want to use. These three are iridescent and these are just a cream rose, but I think it's close enough in color and small enough that it'll just blend perfectly. So we're gonna create some pendants and well pendants on the string. So these are my pearl choices and they're gonna be dangling off the bottom of the dress. I might put some up on a few layers just to give it some extra movement and I think it's gonna be gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, so let's put these well, not away. Pack these back up. Put this box of cabochons back up. And get some blue pants tape, some button thread, some E6000, and let's create these things. You see, I got four different sizes here. I just want you to be able to see the packaging. Tens, eights, sixes, and the small cabochons in sixteens. All right, let's go make some dangles. So Desiree just reminded me that we have a mulberry color in the pearls. It might just match purple enough. I don't even see. Ah, oh, there they are. Time for letter. <laughs> and we're going up. had to go through to create this sample and so this is what it's gonna look like not the chandelier piece wonky like that but just getting the pearls on the string was a feat in itself let me show you how I did it and so I have this little thing a bit too I don't know if you can see chop my hands but it has like a rough pin to it that's funny with this filter anyway and I literally have to take the pearl put it in the hole of the pearl and drill some of the crystal out to open the hole up so the thread can fit. So time consuming. Like this one piece literally took me almost seven minutes just to do one.
This is gonna take forever. 14 hours later. <laughs> I got the pearls done. I got the holes all drilled. I know you can see the little tidbits of crystal dust all over my plexiglass. But then I set up the first layer of flat back crystal dangles because this took forever so we're not doing them all in pearl we're gonna alternate from these two with the lilac at the tip pair are ab's and then these ones here are crystal and i want to show you how i knotted this crystal chandelier piece to go on the tip of the crystal dangles so let's do that to look like this see how there's a loop of the thread inside the um pair just like that and then we're gonna put the stones right on top so let's do that to do the pearls are absolutely done I just need to install them I was thinking about adding a crystal in between each pearl but I don't think I'm gonna do that I think I'm just gonna leave it like that finish these four let them dry and then we can work on the install Okay, 
okay so today is the next day all the small project dangles are nice and dry the pearls are ready set and drilled this little tool right here did come in handy i'm not gonna lie to drill out the holes to make them a little bit bigger let me show you can you see that the holes are so tiny and I had to literally go through each one of these pearls on both sides and drill holes so the thread would fit through it but we got through it and it's done so let's work on the installation of all of these beautiful little dangles to give the dress movement and it's gonna be cute it's gonna be super cute okay so i got all of the dangles nice and dry and i've done an install of one of them here and i still have to do the two on the back so let me show you what i did so it's hanging on i actually used the hole from the bottom of the large pair here and i threaded the extra thread that's on the dangle through the hole brung it around tied it in a knot and topped it with one of these pearl pairs so it hides the knot and it looks so pretty now let me show you how i did it all right so here is the dangle i love these little chandelier looking pieces so what you wanna do is thread your needle with both sides of the thread. It's two pieces, see, two pieces. Bring it halfway through and then, see the pair? So we're gonna go right through the pair Try to take out the fringe right through the pair. Pull it through like that. Then kind of weave through the other fringes to get you a flat spot. I don't know if you can see this really well, but see how one is in front, one is in back. So, once you get it like that, you wanna take your extra thread, split the two. So now I have one in one hand, one in the other. Kind of pull it up, but not too tight that it makes your chandelier piece look wonky. So you wanna make sure that you keep that straight and then tie a knot twice. Again, not too tight, cause you don't want the, dang, the chandelier piece to get to moving and grooving. So tie it twice, then spin it, spin it behind the pearl, back up and tie it one more time. So once you got your knots tied, you wanna cut off the excess with your snippers. Add a bead of glue just to the bottom of the pair and over the hole. Then grab your pearl Swarovski pair and top right over the hole and your knot. And there it is. Beautiful. Let's do it again with that 20 more times. Isn't that so cute? And it's super easy. I promise, I didn't think that it was gonna be this easy to get them in, at least these pearl ones. Um, I'm supposed to have more. I literally have two left. I think I'm gonna put one right here and then one in the same place in the front 
and then for the rest of them I'm gonna just sporadically add these other flat back ones only because making these pearl ones and having to drill holes and getting crystal dust everywhere is very time consuming it really is it's very time consuming and for the most part we have a 32 hour budget per dress now this dress is very detail oriented so i have and that is to the dress's detriment because i really think that it would be amazing let me put the inspiration dress that the customer sent us as far to show you as far as what she wanted the dress to be similar to i'll put it right here in my cute little hand and so you can see this dress it's more like a shell top for the front let me turn this around and come this way because the video should be playing here it's really not a long look new dress alert that's my not next dress this green one is my next dress but that one is down the line um but it's more of a I don't know how to describe it, but this dress is amazing. So two amazing dresses. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to get back into these dangles over here. And we're going to see if, in fact, the rest of these flat back dangles gives me the feeling and the emotion of this other dress over here. Um, it's really a short clip, so I'm, I'll loop it seven, eight times so you can see how she moves in it. And you can maybe I'll zoom in on a few so you can really see the dangles and how her dangles are looking. But um, I'll see if it gives me the coverage that I need with the rest of my flat back dangles. And if in fact, I do need some more pearls up and through there, because if I do, I'll just have to make them. And this small project alert will be just a little bit longer. <laughs> okay, so for the ones that are on the hip, you kind of thread it like this, sew it like this. And then I'm going to bring these down and wrap them behind. I can't show you with the phone in my hand. Let me try to set the phone down. Okay, so looking at the dress, 
I do feel like I need at least two more pairs for right now. After I install all of the rest of the dangles and the AB and the crystal, I'll see if I need more of the pearls. Did I say pears? I meant pearls. Pearl dangles. I'm eating an apple season. But um, I'll make two more for this area here. So one to hang in the middle of the back, one to hang in the middle of the front. And then I'll add the rest of the dangles. Look, the rest of these dangles. And then we'll assess my pearl amount then. But look at these pearls, aren't they gorgeous? I just wanna make a necklace. I think I can. Let me see. I'm so silly. But tell me that ain't pretty. With Swarovski pearls. Mm -mm. All I really need to do is add a clasp on either side. And this is a thousand dollar necklace. Literally. I'm not even joking. Like this is a thousand dollars in pearls just excuse me just this one strand let me show you the pack just in case oh, look at the lipstick it's hilarious just in case you ever wanted to order these iridescent pearls they're pearlescent white pearls this is the size six those bigger ones are a size 10 and then the medium size that I have is the size eight. Let me move my finger so you can get all of the numbers. Pearl Lesson White Pearl 5810. That's really the only number you need, but I'll give you this barcode. Um, you're gonna have to flip it so you can so you can see it. Maybe I'll flip this video so you can see it better. But this is the pack. But let me show you the right pack because the smaller ones come with 500 in a pack the bigger ones only come with 100 pieces as you can see so 5810 size 10 in okay so i added all of my pre-made dangles and while it looks gorgeous it is still not full enough so I definitely need to make more of the pearls, more of the flat backs, and I have them set up. So I need four more of the purple lilac lacquer strands. I need six, what is that, no, eight more of the small chandelier pieces and four more of the large pearls. So let's get into that. So I got all of my holes drilled. I made four more of these pearls. I'm working on the rest of the flat back ones now. I figured out how many more I need. I gotta let the flat back ones dry after I make them, but I'll be here to install the pearls next first layer looks like I don't know if I've ever showed you but you lay the stones down on your painters tape flat side up and then we're gonna glue the Swarovski thread right on through it and then we're gonna lay the layer of stones crystal side up on top